five to four. And that is AM. What? Are you ready for an adventure? Because I definitely am. It's still dark and if it wasn't for the torchlight we would be unable to see absolutely anything. In front of us, in uh, the distance, you can see uh, the May Hill where we are going to welcome the sun today together with other people who come here every year and who are absolutely passionate about the Morris. We are still in bed, sleeping nice and cosy. But you know what? I would much rather have this view than be in bed right now. So you can just see now people gathering all around us. There's lots of people that came here to see the Morris dancers. Uh, there's lots of people wearing cloaks and lots of people wearing traditional costumes and um, there's as well lots of uh, children and people come here with whole families to celebrate the first day of the warm season. You can see that the Morris dancers have got lots of uh, material uh, attached to the cloaks and they like to say that every single strip uh, corresponds to uh, every girl that I kiss. Right, this is going to be my favourite bit. On Wikipedia, I found out that uh, women were actually banned from the two main uh, Morris dancing circles. So, guess what they did? Created their own. Now I get it. I was wondering why it's done on the 1st of May. Because it's the first official day of summer. First of May? In the, in the old calendar. All of the spectators follow the dancers round the barrow in a rather chaotic parade. The origins of Morris dancing are unknown, but it likely evolved from pagan ritual dances. Its purpose is to welcome the sun at the start of summer to encourage good weather for the whole season. Morris dancing has many regional variations and here in Gloucestershire they perform the Cotswold Morris. The tradition of dancing here at Mayhill began 40 years ago when locals simply transferred a May Day party from the pub to the hilltop. Finally, the ceremony ends and we are invited for breakfast in the local village hall. We came back, came down from the hill and now we are sitting in the village hall. What I've got in front of me is what we call an English breakfast. So uh, English people very often have it um, for breakfast on Sunday morning or Saturday morning. And what you normally get is a fried egg, a sausage, uh, some bacon, baked beans, and hash browns. <laughs> it's quarter past eight in the morning, and you can see that um, we are in the middle of the best party ever. This doesn't compare to anything that I've seen before. It's really amazing. These guys are playing not for the sake of performing. They are playing for these people here. And everyone is really enjoying it. There's like everyone else is clapping, um, stomping their feet, singing, singing back. It's amazing. I can't believe it. It's just, it seems unreal. I mean, very popular in Britain from about 1100. Right, uh, okay. You know, very What's it called? This is called the symphony. Symphony? Yeah, because really? it's played more than one note at once, which is unusual. Oh, okay. Well, it's nine o'clock in the morning. The party has just finished. It just feels like we've been partying all night long and we're coming back home after a party. This is really something unreal. It was amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. 
seriously if you want to meet some absolutely crazy people but like really positive and happy people you know and that optimism is just it's just so obvious and it's very contagious as well so if you liked it definitely uh, you can contact them up and left their uh, details in the description so if you liked it definitely get in touch you can learn Morris dance you can uh, play with them or you can just come and listen well that's it for now